Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a beach towel, which is for a project I'm working on. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large one, the size is 10.5cm wide by 17cm or 4 inches wide by 6.5 inches. The medium beach towel crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 6.5cm wide by 11cm or 2.5 inches wide by 4.25 inches. The small beach towel crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 5.5cm wide by 9.5cm or 2 inches wide by 3 and 3 quarter inches. I've also made it in different colours. I'll be using Katona cotton today, so the size will be somewhere between the medium and the large beach towels. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 115 hot red, 201 electric blue and 110 black. I've got scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends, a 2.5mm crochet hook for the main part of the towel and I'll use a 2mm crochet hook for the neatening row. Now we'll be starting at the bottom of the towel. So I've got my 115, the hot red, and I start with 21 chain, but you could work as many chain as you'd like to make your towel the size you want. So 21 chain. For row 1, we miss the first chain and work one half double crochet into each remaining chain. A half double crochet is a half treble, using UK terms. For a half double crochet, we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. and. We work one half double crochet in each remaining chain. That's row one done. 
Now for row 2 we're going to join in the black. So I put a loop over my hook and then bring it through the loop, the red loop, and I pull the red loop tight. and work one chain. Then I turn my work. Now I'm going to work over the top of this black tail and the red just so I don't have to be weaving so much in. And I'm going to be working one single crochet in each stitch across. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put the hook into the stitch Bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the two loops. So one single crochet in each stitch across, working over the top of the tails if you'd like to, just to save on weaving in the ends. Once you get a few stitches done, it's a good idea just to pull on these two tails to pull them in a bit. When I've got one stitch left, I cut off this red tail just close to the last single crochet. And then work a single crochet into the last stitch. And that's the first two rows done. For row three, we join in the 201, the electric blue, just the same as we did the black and work one chain and I'm going to work over the black tail and the blue tail I'll be working over the black when I'm not using it to take it to the other side because we'll be using the black every second row so we're going to work one half double crochet in each stitch across using our electric blue. So just work a few half double crochet and then pull the two tails tighter but not too, not real tight just to to pull this little bit in at the end.
And that's the first three rows done. For row four, we bring the black up to the top and work one chain and turn. And we work one single crochet in each stitch across, working over the blue until we have one stitch left and then we'll fasten it off. Now if you'd prefer you could work double crochets instead of the half double crochets if you'd like the blue and the red parts to be a bit taller. So we're working one single crochet in each stitch across. Now I'm nearly at the end so I'm going to cut off the blue right near the last stitch and then finish the row using the black. And that's the first four rows done. For row five we join in the hot red and work one chain and turn and we're going to work one half double crochet into each stitch across working over the top of the red tail and also the black to take the black to the other side so we'll use it for the next row And after you've done a few stitches, just give a little tug on those two tails just to pull them in a little bit. That's the first five rows done. Now we join in the black and work one chain and we turn and work one single crochet in each stitch across, working over the red and then cutting it off near the end of the row. Now that's the pattern. 
we repeat rows two to five, so from the black to the red, five more times. So when we finish, we'll have seven red sections. So I'll work those off camera and I'll be back when I get to the last row of the red. Now that's the last row of black. I've got one more row of red to go. So I join in the red and work one chain and turn. This time I'm going to leave the black to this side but it doesn't matter if you take it across to the other side. I'm going to work over the red so I don't have to weave in that end. And we work one half double crochet into each stitch across this last row. Now I've got seven rows of the red, so that's my towel finished. You could work extra if you prefer. I fasten off the red, but I leave the black for the neatening row. For the neatening row I'm going to change to my 2mm hook and I bring up a loop of black near where it ended and I'm going to work one slip stitch into the couple of stitches up to the end of the towel. For a slip stitch we just put our hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. And I work a slip stitch into the top of the towel, then I work one chain and I'll slip stitch into that same stitch, then work one chain and slip stitch into the next stitch and repeat that along the top of the towel. One chain and slip stitch into the next stitch right along the top of the towel. And then we slip stitch in each stitch down the long edge.
So just find a suitable place, not too far from the edge to work your slip stitches. And the rest of the neatening row is work like that. One slip stitch in each stitch along the long edge and the short edge, the ends are worked the same. One slip stitch in each stitch with one chain in between. So I'll finish the neatening row and I'll be back just before I get to the end of the row. Once we get to the beginning of the row, we slip stitch into the first stitch and fasten off. And there's the beach towel without the ends woven in. So I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back to tell you the size. There's the finished beach towel. The size is 8 centimetres wide by 14 centimetres or 3 inches wide by 5 and a half inches. If you have liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.